Now I'd like to invite Fahim Ahmed, president of the class of 2013 of the medical school, to share remarks on behalf of tonight's medical school graduates. Good evening, class of 2013, faculty, friends, family, random uncle that you only see once a year, I welcome you all to the Baylor College of Medicine class of 2013 commencement. My name is Fahim Ahmed, and I've had the distinct pleasure to serve as your class president these past four years. It is an honor to celebrate this day with you as we conclude the final chapter of our amazing journey through medical school. But as this journey, uh, as this chapter of this journey ends today, uh, another one begins for me next week. On June 1st, I'll be marrying my beautiful fiance, Ohana. Thank you. Thank you. I have no idea what she was thinking. But uh, needless to say, these uh, past few weeks have been kind of hectic for me, trying to balance uh, planning a wedding with planning for a graduation. Uh, just the other day, for example, I sat down to start writing my wedding vows, but I hit a writer's block, so I decided to start writing my graduation speech instead. Here's what I came up with. <clears throat> graduation from medical school is a special day. Today marks the beginning of a sacred commitment. In sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, Till death do us part, I pledge myself to a life of servitude. <laughs> and then it hit me. Graduating from medical school is a lot like getting married. In both cases, you are celebrating the culmination of years of hard work and sleepless nights. In both cases, you pose for pictures with friends, parents, and that random uncle you only see once a year. In both cases, you are making a commitment for the rest of your lives. That's right, class of 2013. Tonight, we are all getting married to medicine. Think back to when we were freshmen in college. We were shopping around for a major that was compatible with our unique interests and goals. Sound familiar? That's Match.com. Yeah. You basically go out on blind dates trying to find someone you like. Some of them are a little too nerdy, <clears throat> engineering major. Some of them care way too much about money, <clears throat> finance major. And some of them are just weirdos that you never want to see again. <clears throat> Theater major. <laughs> but then after a string of bad blind dates, you finally meet someone that really piques your interest. Someone that's not only attractive, but also challenges your intellectual curiosity. Someone that you'd want to date on a regular basis. That bona fide hottie is medicine. <laughs> after switching your major to pre-med, things start to get a bit more serious. And soon enough, you have to meet their parents, the first real test of your relationship. That, my friends, is the MCAT. Although you're nervous and sweaty, you end up doing great and are accepted into Baylor College of Medicine, the greatest medical school in the history of mankind. It's true. Now, you're going steady. It's the first year of medical school. You like showing off your white coat, but you have no idea what you just got yourself into. It's only when you decide to move in together and start clinical clerkships that things start to get real. You learn stuff about medicine that you never wanted to know, but you appreciate medicine all the more for it. You begin to learn things about yourselves that you never really knew, but you realize that practicing medicine has actually made you a better person. You pass step one and step two, tests designed to challenge you, but only make your relationship with medicine stronger. And finally comes a big day, your match day the day that you decide to propose to medicine, and lo and behold, she says yes. So here we all are, after four long years, uh, finally celebrating our graduation day, celebrating our wedding day. And for those of you who went the PhD route, congrats, your prolonged five-year engagement has finally come to fruition. But uh, don't rest too easy. Just because you're wearing a gown and reciting an oath tonight, uh, it doesn't mean the road ahead will be an easy one. Looking past this special day, years into the future, we must work hard to keep our relation with medicine a strong one. You know, like any marriage, there'll be good times and bad, rough patches and unforeseen obstacles, like ordering the wrong medication for a patient, or spending an entire weekend with your in-laws. But, but not my in-laws. Ohana, I love them, I promise. <clears throat> Communication, trust, compromise, these aren't just keys to a happy and healthy marriage. These are the keys to building long-term relationships with our patients. You know, marriage requires constant evaluation, attention, and a fair share of self-sacrifice. And so will your career in medicine. So in conclusion, class of 2013,
Today is much more than just a graduation day. It is a promise. It is a commitment. It is an undertaking of a lifelong vow to serve and to protect, to love and to cherish, to be the absolute best you can be on this day until the rest of your days. So as is customary with this kind of ceremony, it's only fitting that I conclude my speech with the following words. Class of 2013, please rise. I'm serious, everyone stand up. <clears throat> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of Dr. Klotman and the Baylor administration to witness and celebrate the beautiful union of the class of 2013 and medicine. Becoming a physician is a choice that should not be entered into lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and only after much consideration. By graduating today, you are, gra you are committing yourselves exclusively to medicine for as long as you shall live. Knowing this, I ask the class of 2013 this final question. Do you, class of 2013, choose to marry medicine on this day, to speak the words that will forever join you to the end of your days? If so, please answer, I do. It is with great joy and honor that I present to you Baylor College of Medicine, Doctors of Medicine, thank you.